what's one or two things that you've made, maybe seen from your position group this spring that has you excited the most? Well, um, probably the first thing that we're seeing is um, a lot more competition, you know, and we, even with not having um, a few guys available because of injuries, uh, we're seeing a lot more depth uh, and, and guys who can fit into roles um, that, uh, that will be necessary moving forward. So that's one thing that's really exciting. I do think we're playing more physical and they know we're not where we need to be, but we are taking some strides and that's all the way across the board. And that's something that we've been preaching since we've gotten here and um, I'm starting to really see some of that take hold. So uh, that's been that's been encouraging. In terms of your position group, I think you guys, ever since you've been in Manhattan, have felt a little bit better about the interior than maybe the, the tackles. Are, are you finding more answers there and making the progress that you'd like to see on the outside? Well, one thing we've done is kind of solidified uh, Christian Duffy into one side of the offensive line. And I think that's really helped him out in – our evaluation this past season and him having to play both right side, then left side, then back and back and forth has certainly been a big challenge. And it became even more so evident that he feels more comfortable on the right side. So having him settle into that has been very encouraging. Um, you know, we still have, you know, kind of a committee there on the left side. I couldn't not be more pleased with the way that Cooper Beebe's playing. Um, and with the exception of center, now I think he's gone full circle in his short time here playing every single position along the offensive line. So uh, we're not where I want to be. And, you know, we'll continue to address those things moving forward. I do like how the young guys are coming along. You see flashes, some guys that we've just recently recruited, um, but from a consistency factor, that's where they need to continue to improve. So we're better than where we were um, a year ago, but uh, uh, we still have some work to do. I think Coach Kleiman said, you know, maybe it was just a couple of days into spring football that he felt that maybe they had eight or nine guys that he felt comfortable in throwing out there? Is is that still about the number that you would think right now, eight or nine that you feel comfortable being on the field? Well, we have eight or nine guys who have experience, and those are things that uh, getting live game reps are, are things at this time of year you do not control. So, yeah, from that standpoint, they've seen kind of the live bullets that, that certainly helps them out. But, um, you know, I don't want to feel comfortable. I want to feel, uh, I want to feel like we're going to go in and dominate. And are we there yet with eight or nine guys? No, we're not. Um, but that's where we want to get. So, uh, yes, from a comfort standpoint of knowing our offense, having to feel from some of the techniques. Yes, from uh, saying I got eight, nine guys that are going to go in there and just be uh, uh, dominant, physical, overtake the game type guys. No, we're not there yet. Thanks, coach. Fitz. Hey, Coach, good to see you. Um, good to see you too, Fitz. Duff at the right side. Um, who, who are you working at the left tackle spot? Right now we have a combination of Cooper Beebe, uh, Carver Willis, and Katori Leviston working over there. That's and hard. so you have – that's where the competition is coming into play. Yeah. And um, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go, no, you go ahead. No, it was uh, – uh, you know, Cooper Beebe right now is, is is the guy and is he want his long term to be on the outside? Uh, not necessarily, but you want to talk about just an all around football player. And um, I can't say enough about that guy. He's played right tackle last year, start games at left guard. He's played right guard for us. And, and now he's over there at left tackle. And, and shoot, I've told him that 
um, before too long, we're going to put the ball in his hands. He is kind of remarkable for a young guy, isn't he? Yes. Uh, yeah, he is. And, and the thing that makes him so good is he has the ability to take a coaching point from the meeting room and apply it directly out onto the grass. And you coach up a, a, a little bit of a technique. Um, he doesn't make the same mistakes twice. He gets them corrected. And uh, those things are, are, are they, they, they allow you to be a pretty, uh, pretty special football player. You're returning the interior of that line, particularly with Noah coming back, which has got to be huge for you. Um, is, is this kind of a case of finding your, your five best guys to get positions out there? Because honestly, Cooper strikes me as an interior guy more than a tackle. Uh, he'd probably tell you the same thing. Uh, I know he looked at one of our young freshmen who's on campus and says, you know, he would uh, he'd kill to have the length that he has, you know, with some of the uh, um, just the reach. But uh, it, yeah, it's it is a it is a challenge and it's starting to become more and more clear um, as we go through spring practice, something that obviously we didn't have a year ago, uh, but. Um, as we get a few more guys in the mix um, coming off some offseason uh, um, procedures that were done, I think it's only going to increase the amount of competition that we have, especially there on the inside part of the offensive line. And, and how about Carver Willis? He, he got some time out there, held his own for a true freshman. Uh, how's he advancing now with the spring ball? You know, and Carver is his, his own worst critic, and he's got a much better grasp of the offense. Um, and you're seeing him getting more and more reps, uh, kind of with the one offense and, uh, inconsistent would be the thing that I believe Carver would say. And those have been the conversations that I've had with him. He plays extremely hard. He's extremely athletic. Uh, it's just the fine details of the game that he knows he needs to continue to work on and focus on, um, it's, it's, it's an interesting thing, Fitz. You know, we got, I want to say, six or seven guys going through their first spring practice ever, and they're taking an enormous amount of reps. And along with those reps, that amount of reps, you're going to have um, some of those failures. And it's, it's, to me, a guy with Carver, um, he's got all the ability. He's got the intangibles. Um, now it's just the consistency and yes, I make this mistake or I get beat because of this. Now, how do I get it corrected and how do I get it corrected on a consistent basis? And uh, um, that's going to continue to come. So I'm excited about Carver. I am excited about him and his future. Uh, he's one of those guys that, that uh, would be the first to admit, um, you know, as we finish up these last few practices, get going into April, May, and then obviously in the summer, he's got a lot of work to do. But uh, um, one thing with Carver is you know he's going to get the work done. And another guy I want to ask you about, because I'm intrigued by him, he needed to put weight on, but Whit Mitchum, how is he coming along? Whit Mitchum has really turned a corner um, these last three or four days. And it's about body control. He's another one of these young developmental guys. And I, I think you guys – I have noticed and, and have even kind of called me on it is a lot of times there's going to be that guy who is a young developmental guy who, um, you know, is a little bit undersized, but has the length, has the athleticism. And um, it, it's a race to maturity with Whit Mitchum. It really is. It's, he's another one of these guys who's going to play extremely, extremely hard. He wants to be physical. He's not as physical as he wants to be right now. And that's because of his strength levels and some of his size, but he can move his feet. Um, he's continuing to understand our offense, uh, which is going to ultimately allow him to play faster. And, and that's what it means by, you know, the game is slowing down. It's not, you know, they're getting that much faster, stronger, bigger. It's just, okay, I'm seeing pictures and now ultimately, um, I can get a little bit better of an anticipation. So it's, it, it's with all young guys, you, you kind of have ebbs and flows. And um, right now I'd say he's on an upswing, which is very encouraging. Beautiful. Thanks. I'll let Derek get in.
Last one here, Derek. Yeah, Coach, I know you're a big culture guy, and you, you speak about the unrequired a lot, just, lo just like Coach Kleiman. And Coach Kleiman mentioned maybe some issues at times last year with accountability and stuff of that nature. How much better do you feel about it so far this offseason? I feel a ton better about it. And um, it's, it's very encouraging to see that you are truly beginning to turn the corner. Are we where we want to be? No. Do we have work to still be done? Absolutely. But you're seeing more and more of that by it. Um, do you, again, have mistakes? Absolutely. Uh, but it is about, it, it is truly about a vision. And that vision needs to ultimately marry up with the young people that we have in that locker room. And when their actions reflect that vision, because that's the biggest thing. Derek is is the actions it's it's easy for any one of us to say you know hey I want to do this or this is what I want to accomplish or this is what I want to do for my football team and um you know it, it's one of the things uh I often joke with the guys about you know I said I, got, I know I got big ears but treat me like a deaf person you know don't tell me show me and you're beginning to see guys who are showing it and um and, and, and that's the, that's the encouraging thing. And now the big challenge is for us, do we have 120 guys in the locker room showing it on a consistent basis? No, but you're beginning to see that turn the corner. And uh, the big thing with me is, is, is it's now the players holding one another accountable and uh, um, it's, it's getting much, much better in that direction.